The Mobile Veta Techno Line K Yacht 59 has been a good seller for Marquis Leisure since the model was unveiled at the Camping Caravan and Motorhome Show in Birmingham earlier this year. So I was very grateful to take one out on a weekend trip to Shrewsbury recently. We've returned now and we're pitched at the beautiful Blue Lias pub near Southam in Warwickshire to take a closer look inside. The A-Class motorhome is not inexpensive, but you get a lot for your money on a vehicle that's less than 6 metres and comes with an estimated payload of 1,022 kilograms. It makes this an attractive option for those who still want to travel with kids, because even though it is sold as a three berth, the large size of the vehicle bed downstairs could arguably fit two smaller folk. The real double bed is above the driving position. The drop down bed comes on gas struts and unclips with ease and the side panels of the bed can be pinned to ensure no light creeps in through the windows on bright early mornings. You have slots either side for a book or other items that need to be easily reached at night. It does get warm at night as the heat rises and it's quite a closed space, so you might want to crack one of the ceiling vents slightly to aid air circulation at the height of summer. Downstairs the table depresses and a single bed can be made up out of the couches. During the daytime, the tabletop is rather large, but it moves on an axis, so people can move in and around the L-shaped seating area. Plus, there's a bench opposite. On top of that, the driving seats rotate, so even though it only allows a maximum of four on the road, you could arguably fit six at a pinch if you wanted to invite some friends around for lunch. The kitchen isn't massive, but has a large fridge and freezer, which points towards being able to carry enough food for a family and the cupboard space has everything you need as standard, including brackets to secure items that might shuffle around in transit. The wardrobe has a hang-in rail, and it is probably only big enough for two people's clothing, but there is additional space below and in the garage, which is accessible from the bathroom area. Speaking of which, the Thetford toilet is easy to use. It sits in front of a towel hanger and a heated rail, and the sink basin sits on a long surface top. There is a wide mirror that gives a good view of most of your body if you want to check out what you're wearing for the day. Plus, it has further storage inside for your toiletries. The full height stand-up shower is easy to use and it has two draining points for those who appreciate a longer wash in the morning. The whole unit sits on a familiar Fiat Ducato chassis. And while the one I've been driving is a prototype, those available to buy will be an automatic gearbox and it'll have a working radio and entertainment system. The pilot cabin had very comfortable seats, proven by the fact that my partner was able to doze off on long drives to and from the club site with ease. The driver might benefit from lower wing mirrors, especially while approaching junctions and roundabouts, but the vehicle was easy to manoeuvre and, and could be parked up comfortably without a reversing camera on this particular unit, even while we were driving through the winding streets of Shrewsbury city centre. So for those who might have kids but anticipate fewer holidays with them in the coming years, the Mobile Veta Chaos 59 is a good long-term investment that offers comfort and sleeping arrangement versatility. You can see why it's proving popular.